New updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. We haven't had a whole lot of rain this week. I mean, seven one hundredths of an inch at the Evansville Airport on Wednesday, that's it. So it's been a pretty dry run this week, and we've got a dry day today, dry day tomorrow, and then we're going to get some rain, of course, on Sunday. But, I mean, we did get a little bit more rain in Illinois, but this has been the driest week we've seen in a long time, that's for sure. Let's take a look at what's going on at a few stops across the tri-state. First stop, downtown Owensboro. Friday after 5, kicking off tonight, so Smothers Park is going to be hopping uh, along with the rest of downtown, as per usual, at Friday after 5. And the best news I can give you is that it's going to be dry. Yes, it's warm out there, very warm, uh, but we have a pretty nice breeze that's going to be coming off the river, and we're going to be noticing, of course, uh, plenty of foot traffic down there, I hope, because last year, I mean, battling rain almost every Friday, it seemed like. Uh, we've got uh, the Blue Bridge in view there as we look from the Hampton Inn. Our Pogato camera shaking a little bit because the wind started to pick up a little bit. It's going to be in the 5 to 15 mile per hour range, but closer to 15 than 5 uh, this afternoon. And, of course, that's down in Powderly, Kentucky, with plenty of sunshine. We've got a bit of a hazy blue sky. Had some high clouds first thing this morning. Those clouds are starting to break up. And those clouds were courtesy of some thunderstorms that were well upstate. Show you satellite and radar in a second. but. Here's our iMart camera there on top of Fifth Third Bank. That's the Lloyd Expressway, the near north side of Evansville. And look how lush and green those trees are with all the water they've had. We are running a surplus of better than six inches for the year and right about two inches uh, plus uh, for spring. Here's 83 degrees right now, the temperature. Yesterday we topped out at 84. We've hit 85 twice already this year. So. We've had you know, three days that have been warmer than this one up to this point. <laughs> but today, we're going to push past yesterday's high of 84, past those 85s that have been the highest so far this year. And this is going to be the warmest day of the year. With the west wind at 9, it's going to be west and southwest today at around 5 to 15. All right, can we do a little temperature run? We won't go too far. We're all in the 80s. 82 degrees in Jasper. It's 83 Lagodi. It's 84 Owensboro, 85 Calhoun, 86 Madisonville. That's as warm as it gets right now. Wouldn't be surprised if Madisonville hits the big 9-0, uh, 90 degrees. Most of us should stay just shy of that. But last year at this time, we'd already hit 90 a couple of times. Dew points are starting to creep up. You probably have noticed that already. I was noticing that early in the morning that the temperature... You know, was already, you know, in the mid 70s, already getting uncomfortable, and that dew point had already crept up into the mid 60s. So, 64 in Evansville, really, I mean, you really not start to notice the uncomfortable nature of humidity when it hits the mid 60s and 65 Henderson, 66 Owensboro, 67. So, on the comfort meter, we've got a few in the tolerable range between 60 and 65, Evansville being one of them, but a lot of places already in that muggy range of 65 or higher at least up to 70, that's when it starts to get oppressive. We don't have that. We don't have that to look forward to today. Not that we look forward to that, right? Live first warning Doppler radar, nothing. And I'm not expecting anything. These thunderstorms have been riding to our north, then arcing on down uh, to the uh, south e or the east, then the southeast of us. But that's how they've been working, almost down to the southeast uh, through Indiana and Ohio. We had the big thunderstorms yesterday, Indianapolis, Chicago. Chicago seeing a few right now, too. Although it looks like this line or this cluster has really weakened. It's moved into the Chicagoland area. Good news for them. But it was a pretty impressive line just to the west, south of Rockford. As we look at future tracker, not much for us to track today or tomorrow. Just a few clouds out there, mainly high clouds. Everything working its way to the north and to the east of us. And then as we head into tonight, mainly clear sky. Good for star viewing. Uh, of course, you'll probably get bitten by a lot of bugs, including those mosquitoes. Uh, that are out in full force. The gnats are too, for that matter. And tomorrow morning, maybe a stray shower or two on the other side of 65, and that's really right along that corridor is where we might see a few showers in the afternoon too on Saturday, but not amounting to much of anything. Wouldn't be surprised if you know Perry, Hancock, or Ohio County had a stray shower pop up Saturday afternoon, but I think for the most part it's going to be 65 and points to the east from there if we see anything at all, or if anything is seen at all. Now, Sunday, a different story. We all have a good chance for showers and thunderstorms, possibly severe. But this line is moving in late morning, early afternoon, so it's really going to help us out as far as that cool front. If it was later in the day, the severe threat could be higher. We still have a slight risk for most of the tri-state, though, for these showers and thunderstorms that we'll be pushing in. And really, we've got the chance for rain first thing in the morning. And as we head into the afternoon and evening, things start to taper off a little bit. Rainfall amounts 
I mean, we could see better uh, than a half an inch in some locations, but you can see there fairly good dousing north, south, east, and west. We're all, it looks like, going to see a decent amount of rain. There's that slight risk, includes most of the tri state. Here's my forecast for today calling for a high temperature in the upper 80s, maybe a few 90s on the board, but most of us in the upper 80s. I'm calling it 88 degrees here in Evansville. Pretty good breeze from the south, west, and southwest, really, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, upper 80s again tomorrow, almost a carbon copy day. A little more wind out there, though, for our Saturday. Staying dry for another day until Sunday. Showers and thunderstorms possibly severe. Bit of a break from the heat and humidity on Monday with a high temperature of 77 degrees. Then we warm right back up, though, with another round of thunderstorms midweek next week. More Lifestyles right after this.